Lucas here with Iron Bull Fly Shop. Today we're going to be tying up a Hobo Trout Spay. We're going to be using UTC 140 and Olive. Just going to start our thread here, work our way back to the shank using the Apple Flies Return Eye 27 mil. Once I've got my thread at the back here, I'm just going to tie in our Senyo's Intruder Wire. I'm going to use the size 6 or smaller. So I'm just going to start my thread here, get that secured on. When I get to the top here, I'm going to fold over the excess. It just helps ensure security on that shank. So once I get to the back, we're going to tie in our dubbing. So we're going to use STS Trilobal and all of Black Leech. Start our dubbing noodle. And we're going to create a thick butt section. So once I get this tied in here, we're going to be tying in our guinea. Today we're going to be using red. So when selecting the feather, at least for this fly, what I like to do is find a feather. It's not super short, so I like to find a feather that's longer and that's got a nice pattern to it. So when I'm stripping this, I'll leave a lot of the webby fibers just for a point to grab onto with my hackle plier. So I'll strip those off and then the left side we're going to strip as well. So once I've got this stripped off, we are just about ready to tie this in here. Separate at the tip. So we're going to tie this in from the tip here. Going to get a couple tight wraps. Just make sure it's nice and secure on that shank. So now that we have our guinea tied in, we're going to create a dubbing loop here. Work our thread forward, come in with a little bit of low tax wax. Apply a little bit to our thread. We're going to use the same color here. We're going to use the olive black leech. And just start adding little bit by little bit. So once we've got our dubbing in, we're going to give that a good spin with our dubbing twister. I'm just going to start wrapping this forward on the shank. A couple good tight wraps. Trim off our excess dubbing loop. Now we're ready to wrap our guinea feather. So I'm just going to grab my hackle pliers here. just going to counter wrap that across our dubbing loop. Tie in the end of that feather here. Just make sure it's nice and secure. Pull back any fibers if you need to. Now we're going to be tying in our marabou. Typically I would use extra select just has a longer fiber, but because this is a trout spay fly, I don't need the extra length. So we're going to be tying this in from the tip again. So I'm just going to trim off the smaller fibers here. Proportionately, just wouldn't necessarily work. 
So I'm also going to give this a measure here with my ruler just to make sure the length of the mirror boot is what I need here. So I'm going to come in with my hairline bead ruler. We're just going to measure this and make sure it's about two inches. So I'm going to take those fibers and just make sure that they're the right length. Put that in my prep station here. So now that we've got our feather prepped, we're just going to tie this in here from the tip. couple good tight wraps on that and we're just going to secure that towards the eye of the shank come in with my hackle pliers again here I'm just going to grab the end of that feather I'm just going to wrap this forward trim off our excess So now that we have our marabou tied in here, we're going to be coming in with our hairline voodoo fibers. So the voodoo fibers, if you don't want to use Lady Amherst, they're a really good replacement. If you don't feel like spending a lot of money on a feather, they give a very, very similar appearance. So once we get this tied in here, we're going to fold those fibers back, double them over, trim them to the length of our marabou and we're going to do the same on the bottom and I'm just going to fold these over top it just helps with the durability of the fly Trim them the length of that marabou. So now that we have both of our collars tied in, come in with two strands of holographic flashaboo. So I'll tie these in here, double them over. Just make sure they're nice and secure on that shank. And I'll trim these a bit longer than everything else so it'll actually fold back onto that hook. Now we're ready for our whip finish. Do about four or five turns. Cut off our thread. And you can either finish it with the olive head. What I like to do is come in with UTC 140 in fluorescent orange. And we're just going to create a hot head on this fly. So I'll get a couple good tight wraps on. Cut off our excess. And I'll just cover our olive thread base with the fluorescent orange. Make sure everything's covered up. And then I'll do another whip finish here. And then sometimes what I like to do is just put my whip finish tool in the eye of that shank. Just give it a good pull just to make sure that thread's nice and tight. And there you have it, that is a finished Hobo Trout Spay.